Snickers and I are off on another little weekend camping trip. We're headed to Doggy Days at Clear Lake Campground in Clear Lake. Here we go. Stacy and I made it uh, to camp, Clear Lake Campground in Clear Lake, California. And we've been here before. I've been here before. She hasn't. It's her first time. And our friends Margie and Dee Dee are also here. So we're going to have a little dinner with them. A little potluck with just the four of us. The main group doesn't come till tomorrow. And then we have a meet and greet in the evening. And then more festivities on Saturday. So stay tuned for all that. Here, let me show you where we are. This is where we are, Clear Lake Campground in Clear Lake, California. Not the state park, but a private campground. There's our, there's our campsite. I'm on the left, she's on the right, and there she is. Wave, Stacy. <laughs> she's setting up her little tent and some lights because that's where we're going to have our dinner. This type of campsite is called the buddy site. You can see I'm pulled in one way and she's pulled in the other so our doors face each other and uh, our utilities are on the opposite sides of our RVs. They have I think three different sites that people can do this and the rest are all singular sites. As you can see there isn't a lot of people here. That Coleman uh, trailer down there that's Dee Dee and Margie, and uh, there's other people in here that I don't think are part of our group. Let me show you the river. This is the Cache Creek, and it is full, almost over the banks. We had a lot of rain this year. This comes from Clear Lake. There's a mouth of the river that goes to Clear Lake, up that direction. I know the sun's in there. So this is a very full creek, Cache Creek. And uh, people can kayak along this river and fish. And uh, I don't think they swim. And it's rushing, really moving quickly right now. Last year we were here, the carp were f um, mating or spawning. And I got pictures of carp jumping, but I don't see anything yet doesn't mean it couldn't happen. So the four of us are having our own little potluck. There's Dee Dee, there's Margie, and Stacy. And we're having lasagna and chicken wings. Excuse me, I'm going to eat. Go for it. I'm starving. And salad. Good morning. Yesterday was the 14th when we arrived here at Clear Lake Campground. We're here for doggy days. I'm here with Snickers. Stacy's here with Annie. Margie and Dee Dee are here with their dogs. And we're waiting for the rest of the group to arrive. Most of them will arrive, or all of them will arrive this afternoon. Check-in time is two o'clock. I've been to this campground now four times. It's a great campground. I wouldn't want to be here in the summer, but uh, during the winter or spring or fall, it's it's a wonderful campground. Today is going to be a beautiful sunny day. It's supposed to get up into the mid 60s, and I've even got capris and sandals on. Here, yeah, capris and sandals for the first time in 2024. I don't think I even wore these when I was down in the desert. This campground has been here for since the 40s. The owner now is Lisa Wilson and her brother and uh, their parents opened it in the late 40s and it is still going strong. Lisa and her brother and her staff keep this campground excellent, in excellent condition. It's very clean, the restrooms and showers are clean, and it's been a great place to come and camp and meet with a lot of friendly girl campers. Today's events, uh, the four of us are supposed to get together and do a little painting and then 
maybe play some games and then watch everybody come in and check in. So stay tuned for more. There's the campground mostly and I'm all the way down at the very end. This is the office over here where you check in. Shaw's Shady Acres Office and General Store right there. That's where you go in to check in unless Elisa meets you at the road which she did me. Here's the patio meeting area. We're going to all be here this evening for meet and greet tonight. Here's the pool area. It's not heated and it's not really warm enough to go swimming but it is a beautiful pool. I'm sure in the summertime this place is loaded with people. They have more picnic area. They have uh, looks like cornhole games set up. There's a tether ball. There's a swing set and picnic area. You can see we're right by Highway 53 but I did not hear, hear any traffic noise last night. Oh, they set up a little makeshift doggy park for us. Put the orange netting around and we brought Snickers and Annie over to run around a little bit off leash. This is a pretty good size. They don't usually have a doggy park here so they set this up just for this event. There's Annie and Snickers. Annie, what you doing? What you doing? Gonna give me that? Give me that. 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 Oh, there it goes! <laughs> I think somebody's getting tired. Well, people are starting to arrive. You can see that the campground is starting to fill up. And there's still a few more to come. We'll all meet up about 5 o'clock for our meet and greet. And a little dinner. And then we're having a lady come and talk to us about dog training. It'll be interesting. This is Val, the so, dog trainer. Um, has anybody done nose work before? It sounds like some people have maybe done some nose work. If you uh, tell me what what is your experience with nose work? Yes. I have I have never met a dog that does not enjoy nose work. Okay, maybe agility, but nose work is for all dogs and all people. Any dog that has a nose can do nose work. <laughs> so nose work was originated by a um, a police officer who was training dogs to be um, nose and scent detective dogs and he thought you know what why can't people that have dogs do this recreationally so he 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 came up with this organization i think it's called the national nose work organization i'm sure I, i'm sorry i don't know the exact acronym but that was back in the 80s and ever since then you know this has been a sport for dogs um, if people have if dogs have behavior issues if they're reactive um, if they're shy, um, if they are, um, if they have separation anxiety, um, if they have fear-based issues, um, my dog per se, I have a two and a half year old Mastiff breed, and his name is Meatball. And nice. when he was young, he, his first ride was 12 hours in the back of a pickup truck, and he was not only nervous but he was car sick. Aww. So that was not a good start for him. After that, he didn't want to ride in a Jeep, a, a Prius a truck, did not want to go for rides. So I, um, we started nose work class, and after two weeks of nose work, I would say, let's go to find it school, and that's how I was able to get him into the truck. I, uh, how I started nose work was I like mischievous dogs. Okay, I mean, I love all of your amazing, wonderful, well-behaved dogs, and I have an appreciation for this. But when I'm working with people, I love to help them 
to understand their dogs that have issues. I've always had dogs with issues. I think I might be a little bit bored if my dogs didn't have issues, but they've also helped me to be able to be a better trainer and to learn things and do it the right way and teach people how to help their dogs to overcome whatever problem it is. So my dogs, have, most of them have been reactive, and that is what I specialize in. And I know that some of you have some reactive dogs here, and I've touched bases, but I want to make sure that we connect before I leave tonight so that we know the drill tomorrow to have a fun, safe, successful nose work event tomorrow, okay? My dog got so good at that that he actually found my phone at night in Ojai, California on a dark hiking trail. So nose work for us, besides giving them a job to do, it's an enrichment program. Um, it will settle them down. It's exercise. It's also bonding. So it's something that we can do with our dogs. And if you have a dog that maybe you haven't bonded with or they're new with you, um, nose work is something that you can do with them. And it just really, it seals the bond with your dog. Okay. It just fills that gap in your heart. So so everybody will be able to see everybody else's dogs do the nose work activity. Um, another thing that might be helpful is to take your dog for a couple of laps or get a little exercise first thing in the morning just so that they're calmer around, around the other dogs. Okay. And what we're going to do if you haven't experienced nose work before is we're going to, I'm going to set up a series of rows of boxes. And you're going to bring treats with you. If anybody didn't bring any treats, let me know. I'll bring some spares. All right, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have our dogs line up and then we will walk our dogs into the box area and you're going to come up with a keyword. So either search or find it or seek or is there even another language? So, um, but those are just three good examples for the words that you want to use when you take your dog out to find it, okay? We're gonna take them on a leash, you're gonna approach the boxes. There's gonna be one box with food in it. You're gonna give me the food and I'm gonna hide it in the box. When they find the food in the box, tell them good job and reward them heavily, okay? Finding the food in the box is the reward in itself, but if we reassure them and reinforce that that's what we're doing and they did a good job, they will start to get the hang of it. And you can just do that at home or find classes in your area if you find this to be a fun sport. And, um, and it, it, anyways, you, once they get the hang of it, you can do it at home. Okay? So, any questions about how the nose work program is going to work? After tomorrow? Val's lecture and the dinner prepared by Dominica Rossman, we opened up our shirts and then a few pictures were taken of the ladies with their doggies. I want to thank Dominica Rossman and Rita for taking some of these pictures and anyone else that took pictures of the group of us ladies holding our doggies. Stay tuned for the next video when it will be Saturday and we will do the nose training that Val was telling us about. There was even a kitty cat in attendance, but he didn't participate in the nose training. Here's the four of us from Mendocino County, and here are more doggy pictures with their owners. Stay tuned for the next video for dog nose training and more of doggy days. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe when at doggy days. Bye now.